Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about security defaults and Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. We discussed what is the difference between security defaults and Azure AD MFA and how to set up and configure security defaults and Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication. In this particular video, we will be talking about Privileged Identity Management or PIM. We will discuss what is Privileged Identity Management, what we can achieve with this feature, and what are the license requirements for using Privileged Identity Management. If we go by definition, Privileged Identity Management or PIM is a service in Azure Active Directory that enables you to manage, control, and monitor the access to the important resources in your organization. These resources include resources in Azure Active Directory, Azure, and other Microsoft online services. For example, Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Intune. Now, what do we understand with this statement? Let's consider one example where we assign roles to the users in our organization. In order to manage certain resources, an administrator needs dedicated roles to be assigned. For example, if an administrator wants to manage the users and groups, he would require user administrator role. Or if an administrator has to manage the Intune portal, Microsoft Intune portal, he would require Intune administrator role. Now, when these permissions are assigned to the users or the administrators, these are assigned permanently. That means until and unless another administrator doesn't remove these permissions, the administrator will have access to these roles and will be able to access all the resources as per the assigned permissions. But let's say your requirement is you want to assign permissions to your administrators for a certain duration of time. For example, one hour or 24 hours. And post this duration, these permissions should be revoked automatically so that these administrators do not have a permanent access to your organization resources. So this is where privileged identity management come in the picture. Privileged identity management provides time-based and approval-based role activation to mitigate the risk of excessive, unnecessary, or misused access permissions on the resources of your organization. With the help of time-based role activation, you can decide for how long a particular administrator should have the permission. And with the help of approval-based role activation, you can choose a delegated approver who is going to approve the request for role assignments. Privileged identity management provides multiple features. Those can help you to manage the administrator roles and permissions. The first feature of privileged identity management is just-in-time access. Just-in-time access is a model in which users receive temporary permissions to perform privileged tasks. And once permissions are revoked, they lose access to the resources. So this prevents the unauthorized users from gaining access when the permissions have been expired. Next feature provided by privileged identity management is time bound access. This feature makes sure that the users have access to the permissions only within a particular start and end dates. And once this duration is expired, permissions are revoked automatically. Using approve feature, you can choose a delegated approver who will be responsible to approve or reject the request for role activation. We will discuss all these features one by one in detail and things will be more clear. Using privileged identity management, you can enforce multi-factor authentication. So when a user will try to access a resource with the assigned permission, he will have to enroll for the multi-factor authentication. When a user wants to renew his access, he needs to provide a justification. And based on this business justification, the delegated approver can either reject or approve the request. 
privileged identity management sends you email notifications when a role is assigned or it is activated by the user. This way you can keep a track of the permissions and the roles assigned to your administrators. Privileged identity management provides a feature where you can review the access. This feature requires Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. Using this feature, you can create access reviews to the Azure resources and the Azure Active Directory roles. And you can periodically review the access provided to your administrators. You can even use audit history to see all the role assignments and activations. Those are done within the last 30 days for all the privileged roles. If you want to retain audit data for longer than 30 days, you can use Azure Monitor to route it to an Azure storage account. And if you want to see the full audit history of activity in your organization, you can use the Azure Active Directory security and activity reports. Now let's understand what license is required to use privileged identity management. To use privileged identity management, you need Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. Or if you have Enterprise Mobility and Security E5, or Microsoft 365 E5, you can use privileged identity management because these two licenses include Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. You need to make sure that below users have this license assigned in order to use privileged identity management service. The users who need Azure Active Directory roles to be assigned through privileged identity management they need Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license assigned. The delegated approver who are going to approve or reject access activation request will require this license. And the users who will be performing the access reviews will require Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. But the users who are going to set up or manage privileged identity management or the users who are going to set up alerts and access reviews, they do not require Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. Now, one important piece of information that you should know is the account that is used to enable privileged identity management becomes the member of privileged role administrator and security administrator. And only the members of Privileged Role Administrator can manage Privileged Identity Management Console. Now let's move to the last topic of this video. Using Privileged Identity Management, you can manage all Azure Active Directory roles, Azure roles, and Microsoft 365 roles, like Exchange Administrator, SharePoint Administrator, or Intune Administrator. But using privileged identity management, you cannot manage roles like account administrator, service administrator, or co-administrator. In the next video, we will set up and configure privileged identity management. I will demonstrate to you practically how to configure settings for Azure AD roles, how to assign roles to the end users, how end users can activate the roles, how an approver can approve or reject a role assignment request, and how an end user can renew the role assignment once it is expired. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments. And please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.